Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to be looking at bolt.new and we're going to be looking at bolt.diy. So a question I've gotten a few times is if I'm working on my project in bolt.new, can I export it and then import it into bolt.diy? Bolt and the answer is yes. So we're going to be looking at how to do that today. It's very simple. Um, so to start with, I'm going to go ahead and create a project here in bolt.new. Um, so we'll just say, um, please create a flashcard application using our, uh, I'll say that uses spaced repetition. All right, let's just see what that comes up with. All right, there we go. So it's building out our flashcard application here. We'll see what it comes up with. Now let's go over to uh, bolt.diy. And if you recall, uh, bolt.diy was a fork of bolt.new um, that a user had forked in uh, his repo. And then a basically a team of developers, a lot of guys contributed to this and made it phenomenal. Um, and so it got the attention of StackBlitz, who partnered up with them um, and went ahead and moved it over to StackBlitz, um, their repo. And they are the creators of the bolt.new. Um, and so now you can uh, use it on, well, you could use it before, you know, download it and use it. But now you can use it with all these additional features that these guys have uh, sort of added to it. And they're continuing to add to it. Um, so this is a very exciting project. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clone it. So I'm just going to go ahead and kick, uh, copy the uh, URL here. I'm going to go over to my <clears throat> terminal here. I'm just going to make sure nothing's in there. There we go. Let's uh, go ahead and get clone and paste that in there. And while that's doing that, let's go check on our um, project here. Okay, so let's say question one, answer... One, and I'll just add question golly, two, and we'll go with an answer to question three, answer three. <laughs> All right, so we've got our cards entered in here. We've got a total of five cards. And three cards do. So let's start our session here. And question one, answer. Oh, I didn't get that right. So the space repetition, so the zero would mean that if you click this, it means you, you're not familiar with this or don't know it at all. So it'll be, it should, um, the cards should appear in the more often. Whereas if you go to a five, then it should not appear again after that or a very long time. So, and this is sort of the frequency. These mean, you know, the green, the, the red here means that you don't know it very well. And then the green knows it, you know it as well. So it just, this just sort of sets the frequency of how often it'll display. So question two, we'll say three. And I mean, we're, we're not going to get into all this, but there you go. And so now our statistics are zero cards done. We went through five um, and we can start a session. So, Okay, so I, this, I'm not sure how good that is. It doesn't look very good, uh, but it works. Um, and so we'll go ahead and move forward. Uh, let's go ahead and check on our clone here. It looks good. Let's list. So, okay, so now I'm going to use Vi Visual Studio Code to open up the bolt.diy. Okay. And I'm just going to maximize it. And we'll bring this out a little, I guess. I'm going to click on the uh, README file here. Um, now, you know, some people have mentioned, uh, a few people, uh, that they're having issues with this PNPM getting that um, set up. So for this video, we're just going to go ahead and use Docker. Um, if you don't have Docker, you need to have it installed so that you'll go to docker.com and just go ahead and download the version you need for your machine. And once you have it um, installed, go ahead and open it up and just have it running in the background. And uh, Docker, you know, you'll see, we'll, we'll go into what this is here. Docker has containers, images, um, volumes, and builds. So basically, essentially, you could think of 
containers is it's like a box you know where your program runs so it's got everything you need you just got your tools your code your instructions everything's there an image is sort of the plan or the blueprint for creating the container so you can use the same image to make as many containers as you want. Um, now the volume here, so the volume is actually stored. So you can actually store the data in the volume. So even if you delete the container, the data stays safe inside your, your, your volume there. And then of course your build is, you know, when you're building it, we'll, we'll see that in a minute, but you'll have a, a Docker file uh, that you use to, to build it. And um, so basically you can think of it as you build the image, and then you use the containers, and then you store your data in the volume. <laughs> so it's pretty simple, but you don't really need to know all of that. Let's go ahead and check out our uh, commands over here. So we'll go ahead and get this thing up and running um, by going to the this build Docker to images. And you can, if you got um, you know npm, you can do either imp, npm run Docker build, or you can go ahead and just do Docker build um, dot target bolt. AI development. We'll do that. I'm going to open up my terminal here. Make sure that you run this command in the same folder that your Docker file is in. And this is the Docker file that is used um, for building. Um, so when we talked about your build earlier, this is the Docker file for that. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and paste this in here and just go ahead and run it. And then I'm going to go back to my readme file because after we get that, um, that build, and so now if we go over to our Docker um, uh, desktop here and I click on builds, we see now we have this build right here. See, so we're good to go there. Now we need to run our compose. So this is going to go in and, and do Docker compose up uh, or Docker compose profile development up. So this is what's going to be getting the data from our, our YAML file here. So um, this is going to be setting up our, our, um, you know, our container, our image, and our volume, and all that. So you can see that uh, the um, your image is the bolt dot production, um, and then you've got your environment. Uh, let's see, you got your well, you also got your image for your dev, but it's setting things up. And this is the where is it at? There we go. This is our volume right here. So that's where that's going to be stored. So. Um, Let's see. So it takes it a while to build. We're at 30, 38 seconds here. So we'll just let it keep going. Let's go back over to our uh, bolt.new. And um, let's go ahead and we have this export button right here. So if I click this right here, we can either download this as a zip file um, or we can open it up in Stacklit. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this. Um, okay. So it's going to save. We'll just save it right here in. Uh, my download folder, and I'm just going to open it up. Okay, unpack that sucker right there. Okay, so now that's project, and we will come back to that in a minute here. Let's go check on our Docker. Okay, so it's still building there. Um, okay, so that looks good. We're finished with that. Let's go back to our readme here. So the next thing we're going to need to do is once it opens up, we're going to add our API keys. Now, um, so setting up your API key, you can open up the home page, which is the main interface. So once this is this is built, we'll be able to open that up and we'll get that done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy my API key. It's right here. All right, so I got my API key copied and ready to go. This should be done here in a minute. So, and you'll see if we go back to our Docker container, uh, our Docker desktop. Now we've got a container going, we've got an image going here, we've got our volumes volume set up here, and of course we saw our build earlier. So let's go back and check on it. Okay, there we go. Looks like it's wrapping up here. I kind of want to do this in real time so you can see how long it takes. Uh, I usually like to pause the video during this time, but some people seem to like it to play out. So we'll just go ahead and do this. So, okay. 
There we go. Now it's ready. So this is our local um, URL. So I'm going to go ahead and click this to open it up in my browser. Okay, so now we're running Bolt DIY on our local machine. So we went from, you know, online using bolt.new to now we are actually on our local machine running this. So let's just go ahead and refresh the page. Okay. And now we're ready. So I'm going to select Anthropic and I'll just do Claude New. And I'm going to click this little pencil. I'm going to paste my API key in here and click this check mark. Okay, so now we need to import that folder that we exported. So we'll just click this folder, import folder. We're going to go search for those downloads and project. There we go. So we got the project here. I'm going to upload that right there. Yes, upload. We'll give it a minute to, to build that. <clears throat> Hopefully everything turns out okay. There we go. All right, so we got our project up and running. And guys, it's that simple. Um, at this point, you could continue working on it if you wanted to export it from here and then import it back into uh, bolt.new. Um, hmm, don't think you can do that. I think what you would probably need to do, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be an option to import. Um, so once you export it, it looks like you can only use it in your DIY unless we open in Stacklets. Now, once you open up your project in Stacklets, you can open your project using this button right here. So we can open in bolt.new. So just so you know, you can, if you... Um, sync your or open your project in stack blitz or you upload your project to stat blitz you can uh, use the uh, open in bolt.new to open and continue working on your project all right that's it hope you enjoyed the product Pro hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one